Hello, and I am Shady Green, and I'm just gonna take you. If you're new to Smite, you better watch this video, cause I'm gonna take you on in the tutorial. Now let's get started. Welcome to tutorial. Your objective is to defeat the Titan in the enemy base. To do this, you will need to destroy the enemy's defenses. In Smite, you control gods and immortals, powerful beings capable of great destruction. Each has its own unique abilities and fighting style. In this tutorial, you will control Neith, the Egyptian weaver of fate. Now, okay. you practice navigation. Move to the waypoint near your Titan. Use the left and right stick Moving together. Moving back, um, right stick, sign left well stick. Your next waypoint is outside of your base. So, your moving is kind of like shooting, shooter, and the first person shooter, and like any game. Use the right stick to aim and fire your bow when you're ready. Right stick, really? You slay an enemy or destroy an objective, you gain XP. RT. Gain enough XP and you will great. Now use the spirit arrow ability to attack the left trigger and strike multiple enemies with a left trigger and direct you when cutting your abilities. You have a lot of damage and need to replenish your health. Report back to the fountain now. Within the fountain, gods will rapidly gain health and restore their mana. Welcome home. Gold can be used to purchase items from your team's item store, but only while you are in your base fountain. Open the item store now to purchase some items. This view is your recommended list and shows items most likely to help you in your role. One of these items is Light Blade, which increases your damage and the speed of your basic attacks. Select the item Light Blade to purchase it. Great. You can also purchase active items. Active items can be used like abilities, but don't require mana. Select the item Hand of the Gods to purchase it now. Finally, let's buy a consumable item. Unlike active items, consumable items can only be used once. Select the healing potion and purchase that as well. Very good. These items will help you in your battles. Remember, there are other views in the shop. Select on the All Items list now to see. You can use this view to search for other active items or consumables. Now that you've collected your equipment, let's explore the jungle. The jungle is a term used for the paths on either side of the lane. While in the jungle, your visibility is reduced, and you can't see the enemies as far away. Hmm. Oh, okay, good, then. Jungle camp. Jungle camps provide powerful buffs to the gods who defeat them. Mm -hmm. Your active item, Hand of the Gods, will help you to quickly defeat this camp. Okay. Use the active item, Hand of the Gods, to clear the jungle. Ah! When you defeat this camp, collect the buff that drops to the ground. Well done. That buff will help you do a lot more if you've taken some damage. Use the consumable health potion now. Lab prick. Lab num check. It looks like one of your if allies you, is rushing yeah. the tower. By attacking without support, Odin will surely fail. Be wary around towers, as they will come to the defense of friendly gods attacked under them. It's time to join the fight. Your tower is under attack from enemy minions. Go there now and defeat them. Friendly minions are here to help. Stay behind them so they can take the brunt of the battle. Now, push the fight to the enemy tower. Remember to stay behind your minions so that they take the brunt of the tower's attack. If the tower targets you, fall back out of range. So, use our team. The enemy god Mir has joined the fight. Enemy gods are a greater threat and are usually controlled by enemy players. You should defeat this god before moving on. Okay, I will. Ahead is the enemy Phoenix, which can only be damaged by your basic attack. Once destroyed, all of your minions in this lane will spawn with upgraded weapons and deal more damage. 
Unlike towers, a phoenix will eventually respawn. Destroy the enemy phoenix, but remember to let your minions. We're almost there. Storm into the enemy base and destroy their titan to win. truly brave against other players. So... So this is... My... This, my, this was... Is this my tutorial video. Make sure to like and... Read and comment and subscribe this videos. And please tell me what games you would like me to play match, next okay for battle. oh wait it's Fate not over my bad completion of your match it is used to acquire many things including additional gods and skins worshippers are gained for the particular god that you are playing during the match increasing your worshippers grants you mastery levels that allow you to access exclusive content for that god Experience is gained for time spent in a match. Gaining enough experience advances the players to the next level, which comes with a nice favor bonus. Accolades are a listing of your special accomplishments during the match. There are additional screens accessible from these buttons that will give you further details about your match. Pressing the home button returns you to the game lobby when you are ready to leave your match. Summary. Score forward and details. And yeah, that's all for my video, basic tutorial video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to like, rate, and comment, and subscribe, and share, and let me know if you got if you want me let me know if you have games that i should bl play and i will play them um, you know yeah so this has been jd green and peace out dudes Mm-hmm. <laughs>